Last week, there was speculation that Mike Patton could possibly be the new Vikings defensive coordinator. This week, a few more names have been added to the bucket. And before we get started, let's make sure we understand the current situation of the Vikings defense, the defensive line. Two of your four starters can't stay healthy. Maybe one of the two returns, certainly not both. And while the edge rusher would be favored, I'm starting to get the feeling that neither will be back. From linebacker to secondary, you're looking at at least three new starters. Maybe you can bring back P2, but that's not a guarantee. Hitman could be a cap casualty, so that puts you up to five. Add the two defensive linemen. That puts you up to potentially seven new starters on what was a disgrace of a defense. So not only do you need new players, your defense needs to be light years better than it was last year. It's imperative that you get the D.C. higher right. With that said, here are the new names associated with the Vikings defensive coordinator job, starting with Lions defensive backs coach Aubrey Pleasant. The Vikings have actually requested to interview this guy, so there's that. Before this past season in Detroit, he spent the previous four years with the L.A. Rams as cornerbacks coach. In fact, his last year in L.A., 2020, was Kevin O'Connell's first year as offensive coordinator, so there's a bit of a connection there. Now, in terms of the four years in L.A., and I know there's a lot of nuance involved. This doesn't necessarily all fall on the Rams secondary, but From 2017 to 2020, in terms of completion percentage allowed league-wide, 4th, 20th, 11th, 8th for the Rams. In terms of total interceptions league-wide, that same time frame, 7th, 3rd, 12th, 12th. In Detroit, 2021, 21st in terms of completion percentage allowed, 22nd in total interceptions. Number two, Ravens defensive line coach Anthony Weaver. Mike Garofalo speculates that Weaver could possibly be in line for the D.C. job with his connection to Kevin O'Connell in Cleveland. Now, he started out as an assistant D-line coach Weaver did with the New York Jets in 2012. Since that time, he's been the outright D-line coach for Buffalo, Cleveland, Houston, and now Baltimore. In terms of the last three years between Baltimore and the Houston Texans, looking at the defensive line, again, a lot of nuance. Doesn't necessarily all fall on the defensive line. 2021 Ravens, 24th in sacks, number one against the run. Not bad. Okay. 2020 Texans, 18th in sacks, last against the run. Yeesh. 2019 Texans, 27th in sacks, 25th against the run. Take that for what it is. And number three, former Ravens defensive coordinator Don Wink Martindale, recently fired by Baltimore after this season. Three out of the four years with the Ravens, Martindale's defense has been spectacular. Number one, 2018. Number four, 2019. 2020, they had the seventh ranked defense in the league. In fact, all three of those seasons, Martindale's defense was top three in scoring. This past year, 2021, Really seems to be an example of Murphy's Law, an outlier. Eighth worst defense in the league, a shit ton of injuries. Derek Wolf missed the entire season. So did Marcus Peters. Deshaun Elliott, he missed 11 games. Marlon Humphrey, five games. Seven additional defensive players went on IR. This is just me talking here, but I feel like with a first-time head coach taking the reins of the offense, Certainly, we can expand it across the board with a first-time defensive coordinator, but considering the mess that is the current state of the Vikings' defense and with the mixed results produced by Pleasant and Weaver's position groups, you need experience for defensive coordinator. Even if you take that aside, not only is Martindale the safe pick, he's the best pick. His resume is stellar. For me, I'm going with Don Wink Martindale. In fact, If you look at the total candidates or my preferred candidates along with the current pool right now, reportedly, I would take Martindale at number two after Vic Fangio ahead of Andre Patterson. Your thoughts in the comments section below. Back at it tomorrow. We'll see you then. (laughs) 